everywhere I went, I found leaders who were determined to prevent the conflict that we're facing now from spreading, um, doing everything possible to deter escalation, uh, to prevent a widening uh, of the conflict. Um, the future of the region needs to be one of integration, not division and not conflict. And fourth, for that to happen, we need to see the establishment of an independent Palestinian state. Now, no one I talk to thinks any of this will be easy. Um, all recognize the, uh, the hurdles, and no one thinks that anything will happen overnight. But we agreed to work together. I also found across the board that the countries we visited, the leaders we spent time with, are prepared to make the necessary commitments, to make the hard decisions, to advance all of these objectives, to advance this vision for the region. Uh, we're heading now to Israel, where I'll have an opportunity to share with Israeli leaders everything I've heard thus far uh, on this trip, and also to talk to them uh, about the future direction of their military campaign in Gaza. Uh, I will press on the absolute imperative to do more to protect civilians and to do more to make sure that humanitarian assistance is getting into the hands of those who need it. We'll also, of course, focus on our relentless efforts to bring back host the hostages, Americans, Israelis, and others. And we'll talk about how we see the future for the region and for Israel. And I, I'm convinced that there is a future path that can actually bring lasting peace and security for Israel, that can ensure that October 7th never happens again, and that can bring the region together, that can meet the aspirations of the Palestinian people, um, and do it in a way that makes this a region focused on the future, not on the challenges of the past.